Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a look at what we call the reduced echelon form. What does that mean? Well in the previous video we recognized that if we could take a system of linear equations and write it like so where we had zeros on the bottom left corner we could easily solve for z, y, and x in that, in that order. But if we go a step forward, further, if we take the method of Gaussian elimination, we take the augmented matrix, which is of course a representation of the three equations. The numbers here are the coefficients of the x, y, and z variables. And then the last of the numbers here are simply the constants on the right side, the equal sign. If we take this form of the equation and through a method called the Gaussian elimination, which we'll show in the next video how to do, we get this matrix to look like this matrix. We can simply read out the solution for z, y, and x. Here it says 1x equals negative 3, 1y equals 1, and 1z equals negative 2. In other words, this really means this. If we manipulate this through a set of algebraic uh, manipulations, we can actually make these three equations look exactly like this, which means that if we can make this matrix look like this, we can simply read out the solution to our system of linear equations. And that can be done using the method of Gaussian elimination. So now you know what we mean by the reduced row echelon form and why we would use it. We know what, now we know what we mean by the row echelon form. And so either one of those techniques allows us to solve the system of linear equations. So let's go to the next video now and see how we actually take this matrix and solve it, put it in this form so we can solve our x, y, and z. And that's called the method of Gaussian elimination. And we'll see that in our next video.